In this video, we present the Multiscale Adaptive Stretch Tool, or MAS for short. MAS has been designed with ease of use and robustness in mind. It allows an automated stretching, generating images with compatible background and noise levels. MAS relies on statistics to perform a stretching similar to the STF auto stretch function. It also features a dynamic range control of the high contrast structures in the image and a built-in color enhancement function. The input images of MAS must be linear and in the case of color images, the color must already be calibrated. MAS avoids excessive brightening of the stars, especially compared to traditional mid-tone stretching using histograms. MAS works by configuring two main parameters that define the stretching. Target background sets the brightness of the sky background. The further to the right, the brighter the background will be. On the other hand, aggressiveness sets the shadow's clipping point. The higher the value, the closer the clipping point will be to the histogram main peak, forcing a more aggressive mid-tone adjustment to increase the background brightness. Now, in these previews, we've set a target background of 0.15. For the same background, we can adjust the stretching aggressiveness. 0.5 in this preview, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, and 0.9. The key to a good stretching is finding a good balance between the visibility of the fainter objects and the background noise level. As a general rule, a darker sky background will require a more aggressive stretching to make those objects visible in the image. Therefore, it is advisable to move away from the black by setting the sky background to a gray level between 0.1 and Stellar profiles are preserved using the dynamic range compression parameter. The higher its value, the stronger the dynamic range compression applied to the high contrast structures in the image. Now we disable the contrast recovery section to analyze the effect of these three parameters separately. Increasing the dynamic range compression produces smoother stars. They tend to have a more Gaussian-like profile. However, as a side effect, the illumination of the extended objects will be flatter. To recover the contrast level of these objects, we can enable the Contrast Recovery section. Once activated, the resulting image has the contrast of a traditional mid-tone based stretching, but having well-preserved stellar profiles. This is especially noticeable in this image, where we have a nebula in the middle of a dense star field. Compared to the mid-tone stretching, MAS stretching has a significant impact on the stars, but the extended objects retain almost the same contrast. The MAS dynamic range compression function lowers the brightness of stars and allows for a better representation of their color. This is especially true if we enable the color saturation section. 
The boost parameter controls the increase in color saturation in the less saturated pixels. In this image, setting a value of 0.15 increases the color saturation of the pink H-alpha nebulae. However, increasing it to 0.85 fills the entire galaxy with color, saturating the more muted tones of the spiral arms and the galactic nucleus. Finally, when using the contrast recovery function, it is important to optimize the scale separation parameter to obtain the desired star profiles. Higher values will compress the dynamic range of bigger stars, but at the cost of decreasing the overall image contrast. Conversely, lower values will only affect smaller stars. This parameter allows for surgical control on the stars in our images. Multiscale Adaptive Stretch is PixInsight's tool for controlled, precise, and robust stretching of our images. Mm -hmm.